What's up YouTube, it's Auth, and today I've got a new video for you guys. Plarium have announced the live PvP, they've shown us how it's gonna work, and I, for one, cannot wait. Now I know not every content creator is excited for this, people have concerns around the banning system, people have concerns around not being able to pick dupe champions in gold tiers, but for me, I'm quite excited. I want to see where this leads, how this new game mode plays out. And what I want to do is showcase five free sets that you can farm in this game that are very effective, not just for PvP Live, but also in Classic Arena, in Platinum, in High-End Platinum. So I want to show you guys what are the best sets to farm, which are free, who to use them on and what stats to look for. Let's get into it. Now I've gone ahead and ranked these five sets. Now you could disagree with my rankings, that's perfectly fine. I might have missed a set, although that is unlikely, but if there's a set that you've added in this list and then I haven't, let me know in the comment section down below. But the first set that I've gone with as the number five best free farmable set is Bolster. Now, the reason why it's sold down the list, even though it's a very strong set, is because you can only acquire so much as free to play or as free. Then you have to buy the uh, Forge Pass, which, you know, some people take, some people don't take. So for that reason, he's a bit, it's a bit lower on the list, but it's very, a very, very strong set. Like every other set on this list, it's going to have a 30% HP shield. So the max HP of the champion who's wearing this set, 30% of that HP gets put up as a shield for all of your allies. And on top of that, you have 10% healing uh, on this champion, which is very good for arena defense for staying alive. And it's good for arena offense for staying alive as well, because you can still pick up some AOE hits here and there. Um, it's a really good set. It cannot be stripped. The bolster cannot be stripped, although Yuko is the only meta strip champion that people are running on arena defense these days. So it's not as strong as it used to be in Trunda meta or Romantu and Madame Ceres meta, but it's still very, very good. The stats you're looking for is high HP. Um, some people like going zero speed. Some people like going quick on their bolster champions. It all really depends on what team you're running. I have my Lydia with a little touch of accuracy just to be able to debuff the right champions um, and... Lydia's decreased defense and weaken is nice. Her lockout block passives, a block actives and block buffs is very effective too. So I have it with a little bit of accuracy. I have around about 200 speed, which is very specific to my offense. But this is the first set bolster. I actually think it's a really strong set. Like I said, it would be higher up on the list only if it was more accessible as a free to play you can buy you can get a little bit but then you have to kind of purchase the rest the second one is very surprising some of you might have this set right at the top of your list but i'm gonna tell you why i put this in the position i have the set is perception perception is the fourth best set that you can farm you get this from faction wars you can get it pretty early um, as long as you're beating down faction wars you need to get epic and legendary for four for five star six star pieces and then you need to get rare and epic for four star five star so you can pretty quickly start picking up perception it's fully free to play you can't actually wait for the set the reason why i've put this as fourth because this set for me used to be one of the best sets in the game it's taken a little bit of a hit with debuffs being not so great in the meta anymore now since sheep has become a thing People have kind of avoided debuffing, kind of avoided stripping. So champions who were good with this set, Kaimars, Romantus, um, Madame Ceres's, all those really strong debuff champions have kind of fallen away. And this set has now become a pretty, pretty niche uh, set for lockout champions. If your account doesn't have a lockout, this set might just be redundant. This set might just sit there as a speed set or a bomb set or something that's a lot more niche. So for me, perception only makes it to number four because of sheep being in the meta and debuffs are not that great. Um, you can have your warlord built in it 
Uh, my Warlord has a one perception, one speed set, and one broken set. And then the Yumiko um, is in six piece perception. So it's a very good set for lockout champions. Outside of that, it's kind of fallen off. High accuracy is always good. Triple rolls of accuracy. And then you can sprinkle in some speed. So this would be what I would consider a quad. You have speed and accuracy effectively. You want to favor accuracy more than speed. So one speed, triple accuracy, quad accuracy with just speed sitting there. You can even go double speed, double accuracy is good. Going for like four speed and one accuracy makes it more speed friendly. That's like the the least of my favorite of four rolls on a perception piece. But then again, it can be very good depending on the build, depending on what you're going for. It can still be really good. But speed and accuracy is what you're looking for in this set. Um, as you can see, I don't actually have a helm on this account that's actually a quad just yet. But um, most of them pieces are. This is a perfect example of a triple speed with one accuracy. This piece is good. It complements the build. It kind of caters for speed. So I want to make sure my Yumiko is nice and fast. But yeah, Perception is a really, really good set. But only number four on the list. Moving us on to number three, one of the oldest sets in the game. The past two sets I've, talking about, I've spoken about are... Sets that were introduced into the game later on. But this set is the oldest set in the game. As far as I know. I don't think I was playing the game before this set wasn't a thing. And this set is... If you guessed it, it's Crew. Crew drops from Clan Boss. And it has been consistently one of the best sets in the game. And it's free. They sell, they sell Crew in the shop. Of course they do. Because why wouldn't they? Um, but even as a free to play, you can pick up tons of crew if you're farming clan boss. Now it's all RNG. People have been playing this game for all their lives and they don't have a good crew set to rub together. And then some people have been playing for a short amount of time and they have insane crew gear. They send me pictures all the time of their crew stuff. But yeah, consistently one of the best two piece damage sets in the game, especially for attack based nukers. So let me show you somebody that has it. Turvold, perfect example. Um, Cruel is really, really good. The other good set is crit damage, but that's not free to farm. This two piece set is free to farm from Clan Boss. It gives you 15% extra attack, which is fantastic. And it gives you 5% ignore defense, which is also amazing. Pairs perfectly with Savage four piece, uh, with our next set that we're gonna talk about pairs perfectly with them the only probably downside is to it that yes the ignore defense is nice for hp champions but the stat the main stat being attack base means that it favors attack base nukers a little bit more so if you're kind of a defense nuker main you're not really happy in current meta because a lot of defensive nukers have debuffs and they have a chance to get sheeped so pretty much every nuker in arena offense is being used Talk about your Rotos, talk about your Turvold, your Georgid. If somebody's using Leo, there's a few guys using Leo. Um, Crew is a really good set and is number three on my list. And it pairs with the one of the best sets that has been introduced to the game. It's an upgrade to this a beautiful Savage set. It is the Lethal set. Now, Lethal Set is fantastic. Again, it does basically everything that Savage does with an extra two rolls of stats. So you get extra 10% crit rate and then you get 25% ignored defense. This is the best set for damage dealing. And the best thing about this set, unlike Cruel, is that yes, it's a four piece set. However, it ignores defense. So it doesn't actually boost your attack or defense or HP percentage or anything like that. It straight up gives you more ignore defense, which increases your damage. It's viable for HP nukers, for defense percentage nukers, and for attack based nukers like Turvold. Now, I want to, before we go on to the number one set in the game, I want to give honorable mentions to the sets that didn't quite make it to the top five list. Um, and I'll give a slight reason to why they haven't. Now, I want to put Zeal right up there next to Lethal because the amount of damage Zeal will be doing. Now, this is a set that does 25%, um, gives you 25% more damage and it gives you 7.5% more damage for every 25% HP you have. Meaning if you're 100% HP, you'll get a 30% damage boost, which is 
a massive amount of damage boost so zeal can be right up there with lethal for damage it all really depends on what kind of nuka you run it on zeal is going to be really good with champions who ignore 100 percent defense um, so it's really really good so in that position you wouldn't need to run lethal or you wouldn't need to run a savage set so zeal would be a really good four piece there and the other side of it is if you run no ignore defense so none of the abilities like turbo ignore any defense you can actually switch to zeal you can still see similar amount of damage between zeal and lethal however we'll have to see how much lethal or how much zeal actually drops from the new pvp if it's going to drop like classic arena drops speed gear um it, we're not going to really have any play pieces to play with because you know lethal's been in the game for quite a while people have good lethal but we'll have to see how quickly we can acquire zeal but if we have um comparable stats if we have like equal stats the damage output from a turbo on zeal and a turbo on lethal should be comparable the other honorable mentions I want to give to you, a Swift Parry set is also really good. You can acquire this from Platinum, from Beating Platinum. It also drops in tournaments and events and you can forge it at the forge. Uh, at the forge, you get forge materials and get some more pieces there. Really good set. Um, you can run it on Speed Champions. I have a few of my two Hanorax in my bomb team built in... Um, Swift parry, so you can see here in the bomb team, I want them to be able to go fast. I need them to be really, really quick. And also I need them to have a decent amount of damage for cleanup. If we want to kill Rotos, it's a nice little set to have to clean up. So Swift parry is an also good set. Not really up there with the top fives, but a very good set. If you get this set, definitely hold on to it. Untouchable set, which you can farm this rotation from Doom Tower. Highly recommend getting your hands on some Untouchable. This set has kind of faded from the meta a little bit because of our number one set. Uh, just a little bit of a hint, which it's going to be. Untouchable set is farmable from Scarab, so make sure you pick it up. If you are farming this rotation and looking for a boss to kill, Scarab should be the one. It's good on... Um, ultimate death knight it's good on a few champions that you where you want to run high resistance and you want to be able to cleanse or do anything of that sort really really good set highly recommend untouchable for this rotation and the last set i'm going to give an honorable mention to is divine speed now divine speed would be one of the sets i would put in the top five if we actually got any fives any six star pieces we just do not get any six star pieces in gold five that literally isn't any and the chances of you being able to pick this up means you're not finishing in platinum and you're not getting the swift parry so the opportunity cost is a little bit bad there and the set even though speed is good and divine speed is no longer nerfed unfortunately the only way to get your hands on good divine speed is by buying it from the shop you're not really going to get many good divine pieces from gold unfortunately the rates just on there so it's not the set's fault it's more of not being able to acquire good pieces for the set so the number one set on this list is actually the best set in the game free to play or not free to play this set beats every other set in pvp and you know what it is you get it from the hydra it is stone skin this set does so many different things there are so many different builds you can put together with this set and just a, just a quick look at the vast amount of things that it does it gives you bonus hp it gives you bonus resistance it gives you bonus defense percentage it decreases the amount of damage you take it puts a shield on you that means you are immune you won't take any debuffs it has even if you do not have resistance you still have a 50 50 percent chance of not having it stripped it is an incredible, incredible set. I'm pretty sure we're all aware that this set is one of the best in the game. I want to show maybe a few applications for it. You can run it in six piece. You can go full tank with this set. My Mithrala is in a interesting sort of resistance build. Mithrala passive obviously makes it it's easier for her to be geared with high resistance. So this Mithrala is 1100 resistance with 220 speed. 
there's a build. Then you've got the four piece Kaima build, which is high resistance. This Kaima is 931 resistance with four piece stone skin um, with 224 speed. We also have the fast Duchess build that people are using quite a lot in arena offense. People who don't have neck crits, what they want to do is go first and do veil on all of their teams. So opponent damage will come into Duchess. You can bring a lockout and anything else, but that's another build you can run. Then arena defense champions are littered with stone skin plus reaction. So this is one of the most versatile and one of the most powerful sets in the game. Even as a 2P set, this is one of the best 2P sets in the game. It gives you 8% HP and 40 resistance, which is incredible. Really, really useful to, you know, top up that HP wherever you need it and give you that extra resistance. So fantastic 2P set as well, making it the strongest and the best set in the game. Obviously, I would recommend everybody to farm Hydra as much as they can. I know it's not easy for everyone, but whichever difficulty you can farm, you should definitely do it. So that's it. That's the list of the five strongest sets you can farm this game for free. I would highly recommend getting your hands on these. If you guys have a different set on the list, let me know. If the priority for you guys is different or the value is different, also let me know. I really enjoyed putting this video together. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.